Hey, hey, YouTube. So I promised some folks in my challenge group that I would do a video on um, cutting open young coconut and <clears throat> getting the juice and the meat out. Now, um, I'm sick. Please ignore my weird lipstick. I was really bored and I've been avoiding putting anything on my face or my eyes because I've been so sick. So I decided to try out this lipstick that I have that um, doesn't come off. <laughs> so that's what I'm stuck with right now. And I look like a total freak, but I've been sick and losing my mind. So I went running like this, like a weirdo with lipstick on. I know I shouldn't probably be running because I'm sick, but... What are you gonna do? So I'm gonna get my coconut and show you the steps. Also, see this right here? I don't know if you can. That is tape lining my counters so my cat will learn to stop jumping on them. It's a real fun time over here. All right, let me get my coconut. <clears throat> that you need to do this is a cutting board, which is here. I just put it in the freaking tape, of course. And I drew on the tape this time little red lines so I would be able to see it. And I still put shit in it. So you need a cutting board, a sharp knife. Mine is like, like this. Um, just a sharp, like heavy knife because you're gonna be doing some whacking. Okay, so you're gonna be able to see this and not me because this is the important part. Um, my kitchen's not really made for this shit. Okay, so I leave the plastic on because it just makes it easier to hold it. I don't, I have no idea, it's just what I do. So you're going to want to start cutting about a half inch away from this line that goes all around the coconut. And you're kind of just going to shave off this outer shell. Um, I know it seems like a lot of work, but I like working for my food. I know that's weird, but I really enjoy working for my food. It just makes it like so enjoyable. Um, the more I do this, the more I get the hang of it. It's not the easiest thing, um, but it kind of leaves like this little circle and that's exactly where you're going to be able to get under there and pop it open. Um, so, you kind of just are gonna whack the edges down. And you'll see like some spots, nothing happens and some go in deep, like right there. That's where you're gonna want it to be. I'm still sick, so this is taking a little bit more energy than usual. Imagine for some people this is easier and that's it. It just kind of like, it's like it wants to open. Okay, this doesn't happen every time, but sometimes it does. Um, this is the coconut meat and this is my favorite piece of the entire coconut because it's, I don't know, it's always more firm and delicious. Um, woo! Oh yeah, I forgot about the other thing that you're going to need. You're going to want a bowl Preferably one with a spout to abstract the water. I'm just going to take a second to throw all this crap out. Okay. So 
So you're gonna wanna put it in the bowl because these are completely full of water. They are like full to the top. And the second that you start opening it, the water starts coming out. Um, this is delicious. I'm gonna save it for my boyfriend though because I don't know that eating coconut is gonna be the best thing for my throat, but he loves it. Um, I don't know why, by the way, don't quote me on that or like I don't have scientific evidence. Just typically higher fat foods cause phlegm. Um, not that this is a high fat food at all, but it is an overt fat, which means that most of the calories or the majority, not most, but more than half the calories come from fat. So I'm just going to avoid it to be safe. Again, I really apologize for looking and sounding like a song. So, um, I'm just going to put all the coconut meat in this little bowl here. So then next thing you're going to want to do is just flip the coconut over. Okay. And that's about it for that. I'm going to pour this into a mason jar so I can see about how much uh, juice it yields, or water, or whatever it is. <clears throat> okay, that's why I recommend having a bowl with a spout. more like 12 ounces, which is kind of weak. I've got had them give me 16, which is awesome. It's a, probably the most refreshing drink in existence, but I don't know that it's the best for me right now, so I'm going to save it. <clears throat> okay, here's the fun part. And this is going to be a little bit harder than normal because this hole that I got here is a little bit smaller than um, I'm usually able to get. Ooh, doesn't care about the tape, as you can see. So now what I do is I take a spoon, I put it right here. This is the meat and this is the shell. I put it right in between them. I'm going to tilt you down here. And I press against the shell and just scoop. And I go all the way around doing the same thing. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder. Kind of every coconut I'm noticing is a little bit different. This one is actually, I think, going to be one of my favorites because. The meat is pretty firm. I like when the meat is firm. That's what she said. Yep. Somebody was going to comment it, so I saved you the trouble. I think we all can agree that meat is best when firm. Or not, I don't fucking know. I'm going to stop talking about meat. So... I'm going to try and get some of this out now. This one is actually really awesome because sometimes all of this will be slimy, but this is like legit. By the way, I've started eating this, this little pit bits of shell. I'm not going to be crazy about picking it off because I don't feel like it. So look at all of this delicious, delicious coconut meat. And I'll show you inside. You can see there's still a little bit more. That's all like thin goop left, but I get all of it. I'm not 
gonna save these little slivers for my boyfriend because he's gonna be like, what? So I'll eat them. And then you can do something cool and creative with this. I'm not that cool and creative, so I'm just gonna throw it out. <clears throat> And that is how you devour, devour, mm, disembe, that's how you cut open a coconut. I think that that's not really how the rest of the world cuts open a coconut, but that's how I do it. So I hope this answered your questions. Um, feel free to let me know if there's any other videos you want to see. Um, I can't think of anything else I'm going to say. I need to start packing because we're going back up to Orlando tonight. So I will see you all later. Bye.